then Mrs. Charlotte Jose, chairperson of the Electoral Commission, and the returning officer for the presidential election. Madam Chair, all this. Okay. <coughs> My fellow Ghanaians, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We promised you that we would announce the results of the 2016 presidential elections within 48 to 72 hours after the close of polls. I am delighted to announce to you that the wait is now over and we are ready to tell you who your next president is. Before we do that, we would like to extend the appreciation of the Commission to all our fellow citizens for the patience they have shown as we went through the results to ensure that the final results we declare are accurate. On behalf of the Commission, I would also like to express our profound gratitude to the United Nations Development Program and the UN Office in Ghana, the European Union, the United States Agency for International Development, the Department for International Development, the Commonwealth Secretariat Ford Foundation, for their partnership and the tremendous support they have given the Commission over the years, and particularly towards this year's elections. We know that if we don't do all our thank yous now, and we announce the results, you won't listen, so. <laughs> Again, we wish to thank the, the Peace Council, the judiciary, the numerous domestic and international observers, the Ghana Education Service, the Women's Situation Room, our chiefs, various civil society organizations, and our faith-based organizations. For particular mention is our security agencies who have worked very closely with us to make sure that the elections were successful and free of violence. Of course, we have to thank the political parties and their leadership for the cooperation they've shown us, and all the voters and all Ghanaians for your prayers, your counsel, and your patience and our friends from the media who have virtually moved into the EC for the past 48 hours and supported us to ensure that the public was informed on a very timely basis and everyone knew what was going on. We thank you. And finally, we need to thank our staff, temporary and permanent staff. The entire commission is extremely proud of the kind of dedication and passion we have seen from our staff across the country. They've worked very long hours, made a lot of sacrifices, and we appreciate them for the stellar job they have done for God and for country. Now to the results. We conducted the elections this year with a register of 15,712 voters, 712,499 voters. Um, with a total of 275 constituencies and we had 28,992 polling stations on election day. For special voting this year we had 286 voting centers. Currently the results we're about to announce exclude four constituencies. We have a Front Plains North with a voter population of 40,312 voters, and the results are not ready because they voted only yesterday. For three constituencies, Upper West Achim with voters, um, 50,386 voters. Saola Tuna constituency with 45,625 voters, and Tamale Central with 83,947 voters. Those results are being contested, and so collation has not happened. For the four constituencies I mentioned, they have a total of 220,270 voters. However, we believe that the results of those four constituencies are immaterial to the final outcome of the presidential results. And so we will announce the results without those four constituencies. For the, result, for the presidential elections, the total votes cast was 
Out of those, we had rejected ballots of 166,248, which is 1.54%. We had total valid votes of 10,615,361. Our turnout was 68.62%. Now, for the candidates. Mr. Ivor Kobina Green Street of the CPP had 25,395 votes, being 0.24%. Mrs. Nana Konedwajiman Rawlings of the NDP had 16,878 votes, being 0.16%. Mr. John Dramani Mahama of the NDC had 4 million. 713,277 votes, being 44.40%. Mr. Papakwisi, Dr. Papakwisindu of the PPP had 105,682 votes, being 1%. Mr. Nana Akufado of the New Patriotic Party had 5,716,026 votes, being 53.85%. Mr. Edward Mahama of the PNC had 22,214 votes, being 0.21%. And Mr. Jacob Oseyegwa, an independent candidate, had 15,889 votes, being 0.15%. On the basis of the foregoing figures, and by the power vested in me as the chairperson, of the Electoral Commission and the returning officer for the presidential election, it is my duty and my privilege to declare Nana Adodankwa Akufuado as a president elect of the Republic of Ghana. Thank you. God bless our homeland, Ghana, and make our nation greater and stronger. <laughs>so what you're hearing now in the background and what you just had right after uh, Madame Charlotte said declared the results came from the resident of the president elect Nana Adodankwa Akofuado and uh, immediate and you, if you're watching this 
on the John News channel and also watching this on my John Online. You see uh, the pictures there uh, as uh, she was speaking. The, his residence has exploded into chairs uh, when that was declared. And remember, the election results update brought to you by Magdan Shipping, your total logistics partner. NIIT, enroll for quality computer education in Ghana. The official insurance partners for 2016 election headquarters, Phoenix Insurance and Phoenix Life Assurance. We have been refreshed by Papa's Pizza. Taste it, love it. Carbell Coffee, smile and have a sunshine day. These uh, agencies and organizations have made it possible. Magnum Shipping, NNIT, Phoenix Insurance and Phoenix Life Assurance, Papa's Pizza, Campbell Coffee. Let's return to what we're seeing on our screens right now uh, following the declaration of official results. We, now we're watching, now we're watching uh, Greater Accra, Greater Accra feeds. Eastern region, Eastern region, uh, we're going to bring you reactions from across the country. On our screens now are reactions that we're seeing, people jubilating uh, from the Eastern region. Uh, you can see a gentleman standing in the middle of the road, uh, uh, in the middle of a busy road, uh, dancing, uh, uh, children, women, uh, men, old, young, all on the street, they're jubilating and in an exciting uh, excited uh, following the declaration that uh, these this particular photo you're watching right now where is it coming from we also have live visuals for you from the residents of of uh, the uh, president-elect in fact what you're hearing in the background especially if you're listening to us on radio on joy 99.7 FM that sound of course that has become uh, so accustomed and, and of course it has become uh, so um, aligned with anything MPP is coming from the residents of uh, the president-elect uh, Nana Adodankwa Kofuado and you can see there are people uh, driving the vehicle uh, all over town and this uh, from across the country we've seen footage from Tamale from the eastern region uh, also be going to the residents of uh, the president-elect very shortly. Elton John Brobe uh, is online right now. Hello, Elton. Yes, hello. Elton, uh, I, I, I know you were there. And I, I'm told that the gathering at Nala Rodanko Akufado's residence, uh, they are watching Joy News. And that's also, but they're also listening to Joy 99.7 FM. So you are always the last voice they hear before somebody come on. I see. And what happened when they had a declaration? Well, the unlimited excitement, uh, they are experiencing the only camp of a group that's been in political bandage for eight years, and they are now free to assume the mantle of leadership of this country. That's exactly what the supporters are exhibiting here. The excitement is beyond measure. And very soon, uh, from, from, the, from the PA, from the MP, Nana Rigan for a group out of flag by Leading members of the party, Professor Mike Kofi, Dr. Kofi Brando Apagu, Alan Chairman Chen, uh, Dr. Mama Dubaumia, uh, his wife, Chief, they are all in readiness to support him to deliver the speech that everyone, everyone is waiting to hear. That's exactly what is going to happen anywhere from now. They are asking the people to keep quiet because the man is about to step out of the house as I speak to right now. Uh, they, they, they are bringing him out. Of the, of the main building to the garden where you'll be giving an opportunity to speak to the people, to speak to the nation, to accept the results of the presidential election. 53.8% as against what the uh, won by President John Dramani Bahama. There's already been that from the military message uh, from President John Dramani Bahama. The EC has given him the green card to go ahead. What we are waiting to hear is an acceptance speech, and that's going to happen anytime soon. The media might have flooded the entrance of the main building awaiting the arrival. They're stepping out of Nana Adanko and Kupa, the president elect of the Republic of Ghana, to deliver what is expected to be his acceptance speech uh, uh, after being declared winner by the chairperson of the Electoral Commission, Charles Francis. So, ever, that is what is happening here. What is happening here is which belongs beyond imagination. And it's simply because they've been in opposition for eight years and finally. They, they, they've gotten the power they've been asking for since 2008. So we are now waiting to see Nana Kufa to come out of that building and then be ushered onto the main podium where you'll be given the microphone 
to speak to the nation, to tell us the acceptance and what we will be doing from today as a standing readiness taken by the Master of Leadership from the 7th of January 2017 ever. Let's continue our conversation because I don't want to, I want to miss the scenes when he walks in with his uh, high-powered delegation or high-powered members, uh, the senior members of the party, uh, to begin this address uh, to the uh, teaming supporters there. Uh, and, and now tell me, Elting, you've been there for since day one when this whole started. You traveled with him to go and vote in in Chibi in the Eastern Region. You you came back with him. Uh, you've been there. In fact. You gave us an exclusive interview with him uh, in the course of the day today. And so you understand the processes there better than most. You got, the, you got us the confirmation when the president first called him. Uh, give me a sense of uh, what you know is going to be happening right now behind closed doors. That's the stuff that we don't get to see on screen. Exactly, Evans. I mean, it's been meeting upon meeting since, since Wednesday after the close of school, right from his office to his residence. And I'm not too proud of I've been meeting party faithful, uh, foreign nationals, and indeed today, for example, it was, it was more like a roll call of persons who served under the uh, former president Kufour administration. All the cabinet ministers who worked with former president Kufour, they've been here, they are still here, and indeed, when I had an opportunity to go to his private office in his residency, he was in the, he was in the company of Hachman Ousu Ajeman. And then you are the Professor Michael Kwe, Dr. Kofi Kunedu Afreko. And they were actually watching Joy News at the time. I remember, I, I remember quite clearly, Evans, when you, you engaged me and I also engaged uh, Stanley Ajit Blanton, the former AMA boss, and he was talking about the fact that they would not hesitate to bring to book persons uh, who are serving in this government and may have been appropriated public funds. When I was about to ask him my second question, I saw... You know, Eugene Ahe, the special agent of Kupado, came to pull him aside and he was taken into the room. Basically because they were watching our interview and they, they, they took notice. So I'm, I'm very sure that he wasn't really happy with some of the comments that, was, that were coming out of Mr. Ajit Blanc. And that's how it comes. 